Today we're going to be looking at the various starter toolkits from the very basic to the university student kit. The first kit is the essentials kit. Um, it has small scale um, tools. Perhaps if you've been doing beading or silver clay, this might be something you'd find useful. Um, it has the essential jeweler's saw, the piercing saw, and um, number two blades, which are a good all-rounder. And they're, they're really essential um, to start off jewelry making. There's two pairs of small pliers, a center punch, three needle files, which are really good for getting into small, intricate um, pieces of work, um, two files, um, a rougher one and a smooth, fairly fine one, and a small jobbing hammer. I would think every jeweler has these in their kit. I think you may also want to add perhaps a bigger, bigger set of pliers and a bigger hammer if you're going to be doing more work. So moving on to the student starter kit. Um, this time you get a nice large um, toolbox for taking your work um, to and from your leisure class. Um, in addition to the piercing saw and blades, um, the, the pliers here are slightly larger and in, uh, include a round nose plier for making jump rings and making small loops in wire. Um, there's a rule, 12 inch rule, um, there's additional sanding sticks and additional needle files which are really useful for doing your fine work and also a um, grade 2 flat file. These, these are just essential really for smoothing off your work when you've been um, piercing. Uh, so moving on to the workbench toolkit, again you've got a nice sizeable box um, to store all your tools. Um, the main difference here is the bench peg, which um, this one can be moved from a bench to your uh, kitchen table at home if you need to. and fits in like this, so you've got a uh, place to do your piercing. So there's obviously the piercing saw and blades. In addition, there's a whole set of um, pliers from flat to snipe nose to round and um, flush cutters. Um, there's also a pair of snips which are really useful for cutting flat sheet of metal. Um, the rule and the selection of needle files and again two files and a flat one for working um, really quickly on your flat pieces and also a half round which again is really useful for working into um, curved surfaces. So finally we have the university student kit. This is a really comprehensive um, toolkit. Um, pretty much the same as in uh, the bench kit, the selection of pliers, needle files, uh, flat and round file and uh, rule. There's, in addition to the center punch, there's a scribe. We have the uh, slightly different um, jeweler's saw um, and again, slightly different snips. This time we have more pliers, which are really useful because they're parallel action. So they're really useful for holding your work steady. We've got a nice heavy duty hammer here um, and also a hide mallet. This is really useful for when you're hammering your metal work and you don't want to leave any marks on it. Metal hammers leave marks. This is great for sort of smoothing off rings and bangles and things. Um, onto the soldering equipment, there's a borax cone and dish which is flux. Uh, you just add water and uh, move it round and you create borax. Um, there's a soldering block and also a honeycomb soldering block. This is useful for propping your work. You see it's got little holes in it. You can prop your work um, in that. And reverse action tweezers hold the work really steady and the wood protects your hands from um, heat. And a lovely little pair of tweezers for picking up your work. And also some soldering um, binding wire which helps to bind your work together when you're soldering. Onto the measuring and marking equipment, there's a really useful digital vernier gauge um, which comes with the battery so you're ready to start straight away and this is a really easy and clear way to measure uh, thicknesses of wire and sheet, a very useful piece of kit. Um, there's also the dividers, these again are really useful for you marking out your work, say 
you, you, if this was a piece of metal, you'd mark it like this, or you can do circles. You know, every jeweler uses these quite a lot. And also the engineer's set square. Um, this is great for making nice straight lines on your work because you can use it as a guide. These are really good pieces of kit for getting your work nice and um, tight. Obviously, the university student kit has pretty much everything in it you need to get going and um, it has all the basics and I would recommend this. If you're on a tighter budget or you're just starting, I think the work workbench kit with the peg and the set of pliers is a good, good start off point. So again, if you've enjoyed this video and would like to know more about Cooks and Gold products, just click like and hit subscribe. Thank you.